everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my plant collection. So first up is the plants in our bathroom and right now we have just one. This is a spider plant. She is a new arrival um, so that's why she's still in her nursery pot. I typically keep my plants in their nursery pots for probably like two watering cycles before I repot them into something just so they can get used to their new environment and not get you know any issues with them so this is the spider plant it's super easy to propagate because it will have a lot of little baby plants that will kind of come off of it so it's really easy to gift this type of, type of a plant to your friend um yeah and i think she's really cute i'm really excited to see how she does in the bathroom because they do like a more humid environment so i'm excited to see how she fares Next, I'm going to take you into our bedroom where we have three different plants. This is a Raphidophora tetrasperma. I think she is just so beautiful with all of the splits on the leaves. This has grown super, super quickly. Um, maybe I'll insert a photo of when I purchased her, which was in March, I believe. And she has just grown so much, so much to the point that I've had to propagate her, which has actually been really easy. I have a full tutorial about propagating your plants on my TikTok if you're interested, but you can see that there are lots and lots, I don't wanna take it fully out, but there's lots and lots of roots in here. Um, so I'm going to repot this into there to make the plant bigger and bushier. And once that gets settled into the pot, I am going to put that into a nicer pot because right now it's just in a nursery pot. Next up, this other new addition. This is a Hoya Carry Eye or a Hoya Heart or a Wax Plant or a Hoya Sweetheart. There's lots of different names for some of these plants. So this one eventually, hopefully, will grow into a bigger plant. I'm not honestly entirely sure because I only had this one for about a day. So she's new, but I think she's really pretty with the variegation on them. And these are a little bit more expensive and harder to find because they have to take to the root. They're kind of like a shallow um, rooting. So because they're, you know, just individual leaves off of the plant, but I think it's really pretty and I'm excited to see how she fares in our bedroom. So last plant in the bedroom is this variegated rubber tree or a rubber plant. I think this is so beautiful. I recently had a friend say that this looks like a watercolor and I think it definitely does. It's so pretty and to keep this beautiful variegation, you definitely need to give it a good amount of bright indirect light. So it did struggle for a little bit after we got it. And then when I moved it into the bedroom, it did kind of drop some leaves off, but I found a good watering schedule with it now. So I'm hoping there will continue to be some new growth but I have noticed that this is a little bit slower um, when it comes to the leaves growing in size and also for um, new leaves growing. It does take a little bit longer than other plants. Now we are going into the living room, which is where we have the most plants. This is a ZZ plant. They are super easy and fast growing. They're really low maintenance. So this is why you'll see it on a lot of lists that are like easy plants for beginners because you don't have to worry about watering it too much. and it's kind of okay if you neglect it a little bit. It has these tubers in the soil that actually absorb the water and hold onto it. So compared to some of the other plants that will definitely show signs of underwatering or overwatering, this would take a really long time um, for you to kill it. So this is a really great beginner plant. This is a fiddle leaf fig. It has grown a good amount, like almost, Close to a foot since we first got it. Um, I've had this one for a little over two years now and she does pretty well. I have had to trim off some of the leaves on the bottom which is actually really good to encourage growth on the top and all of these I think there's like eight leaves that are at the top have been new ones since I've gotten it and that's been really great and exciting and I am looking forward to this continuing to grow and be one of the plants that we keep you know for many years to come. This is my Monstera. She I think we've had her now for already almost close to two years um, and she only has one leaf with a fenestration which is 
over here. Um, you probably can't even see my face right now, but I did put this onto a moss pole to hopefully encourage some more growth um, because it was kind of growing all sideways and not upwards. So hopefully that will help this out and hope the plant, you know, grow bigger and taller. So this is one of my favorite trailing plants. This is a Pothos Enjoy. I have a little cute heart in there. It says mom's new favorite. And um, I didn't actually get that with this plant with a different one, but I just thought it was cute to be in there. And this has grown so, so much since I got it over a year ago. It has tr just trails so much. And I feel like every time I look at it and water it, there's just a new leaf. And I've propagated this a bunch of times and put new propagations into the same plant to make it bigger and bushier. So I was able to put it into a bigger pot size. Next up, we have this neon pothos. It is so big. This was actually two smaller plants that I got and combined into this pot, um, which actually this one does not have a drainage hole in it, but knock on something, it actually has done really well without it. It's actually hanging up on our wall um, on a fixture. So I really like this one a lot. It's just so beautiful and it has grown so, so much this summer. And yeah, I just love it. I think it's just so beautiful. And I love that there's even some variation on some of the leaves with the different shades of green. Next up, this is a golden pothos. I got it at Ralph's for $2.98 and it's done pretty well. I am probably gonna uh, propagate some of these off soon and plant them back into the plant to make it a little bit bushier and a little less hanging just because the setup where it is has a lot of plants on it. Next up, I have a Philodendron Brazil, which is super beautiful. It has lots of color variations. Um, a lot of the newer leaves that are on the top, I've noticed kind of look like a neon Philodendron and it's just so beautiful. It grows so fast and I just love this plant. It's definitely, I think, time to repot it because I can barely even get in at the soil to check it. So I did propagate some of it and that is what's in this little guy. Next up is my biggest troublemaker. This is a Calathea, also known as a zebra plant because of the uh, striping, obviously. I love that the undersides of these leaves are purple, but as you can see, there is some crispiness happening and yeah, I'm just really not sure how to remedy this one right now, but I do like it and I like the way it looks, but it, you know, I know it's not totally unhappy because it has a lot of new growth all the time, but a lot of the under leaves do kind of die off quickly. So still trying to figure out the best way to take care of her. So here we have one of my favorites. This is a watermelon peperomia. I think that these leaves are just so strikingly beautiful. They look like a watermelon because they are striped and they're just so pretty. This is super easy to take care of. It took me a while to find one and track it down, um, but I ended up picking one up and I'm very happy with her. She likes the sun, but also definitely some shade. So I have her underneath a monstera plant, which, yeah, she really, she really likes it under there. So this is a arrowhead or a syngonium. This is a strawberry one because it does have a pink tint to it. I think it's so pretty and it definitely leans towards the light where it wants to go. Um, so she's definitely a sun worshiper and I just think it's super pretty. She just needs a little bit of misting to keep her happy because she does prefer a humid environment. Funny enough, this Pilea peperomoides is actually one of the plants that a lot of people really recommend and love, and I do love it. I love the way it looks. I think it's beautiful, but it is actually a little bit hard to take care of at times. You can see there's like some leaves that are a little bit lighter in color, and I know that the older leaves will droop and die off, and I do still get a lot of new growth on this, and I have propagated it off and such, but yeah, it's kind of a little hard to take care of, but I do, one of the reasons that I really gravitated towards it is because it has a lot of little pups that come off of it that you can easily cut off and propagate and give to your friends. So next up we have a string of hearts. This is just so beautiful and it's very delicate and it's easy to propagate because it just grows so, so fast and super long all the time. And I just love it, I think it's gorgeous. 
I really would love to get more of these, but the place that I have found that it works best in only really has room for one plant. So hopefully one day when we move, um, I'll be able to get a couple of more of these. So I did not want to forget about my cacti, which live right here on this shelf that I actually found outside of our building's trash can. And I sanded it and primed it and painted and did all the stuff. But these are the three cacti that we have. Um, this one I think is so funny. It's like growing taller, but it's growing like small on the top. I'm not mad about it honestly but it has this cute little baby cactus growing on like the bottom of it and it's just so cute and I'm so happy because I honestly wasn't really sure if it's been doing great because cacti can be kind of hard to take care of um and yeah I've had this one actually for a couple of years now and this is just like a little grafted cactus but I just love this one so much I think it's so fun Thank you guys so much again for watching my IGTV and tuning in to see all of my beautiful plants. I hope you enjoyed seeing it as much as I enjoyed making this. I just love plants so much. I think they're a beautiful way to decorate your home and you know bring a little bit of life into your space and decorate with something that also purifies your air and gives you something to take care of it's really just a beautiful thing so i love plants so much and i hope to spread the plant you love to as many people as i can i have a couple of articles up online if you're interested in taking a look i have one about different places that you can order plants online especially over the past few months where a lot of nurseries haven't been open that can be a great resource or if you're in an area where maybe there aren't as many plant shops, um, that's a great option. We also have an article about plant shops specifically in Los Angeles that's on my website that shows some of the places I love to purchase my plants. We also have an article up about uh, just general plant care and if you're a beginner in the plant space and you're looking to start growing your collection, and I also have an article about all different colorful plants that aren't maybe just green, but showcasing a couple of different colors. So that's all for today's video. Again, I hope you enjoyed and let me know what kind of IGTV content you would like to see next. Bye.